Hey biatches, this is Gary coming at you live from my living room here to tell you about a story, okay? But it is uh, funny, kind of funny anyway, okay? A buddy of mine and I went to a bar, okay? He was drinking alcohol and I was drinking sodas, you know, and uh, chilling out, listening you know, listening to the, uh, you know, bands play, the karaoke, the whole nine yards having a good old grand time. Okay, so think about this, okay? There was a real beautiful, luscious, big girl walked up to me. I mean, you know, she was hot, you know. Had her little stiletto heels on and, uh, you know, a cute little dress. I mean, she was hot. You know, one thing about a big woman, you know, you gotta say, she was hot because she was plump in all the right places, you know, and uh, the next thing, you know, you know, we started talking, chilling out, hanging out, you know, and uh, so uh, her and I, uh, you know, went back to a hotel room, okay? So, uh, you know, her and I was hanging out at the hotel, chilling out, I was drinking drink, we was talking, okay? Everything was going good, okay? And uh, the next thing you know, okay? We was taking our clothes off, which was, whoa, awesome. You know what I'm saying, man? Well, anyway, think about it, okay? Once the stripping clothes was done, after the blowjobs was done, I went down on that pussy like a motherfucking um you know like a motherfucking damn stink on a, a skunk okay and that pussy tasted good tasted like cherries anyway you know you know the next thing you know you know we, we put the condom on my pecker you know what I'm saying once we put the condom on my pecker you know, that's when, uh, you know, she turned around and I inserted inside of her. It was good and tight, too. You know what I'm saying? And it was so tight. It felt good. There's nothing more sexier than a woman with a tight cunt, okay? And I was hitting that shit like a wild animal on crack, okay? So think about it. When you're about hitting that shit, throwing a meat to her, when you throw the meat to her, that's when you know you got her. I didn't give a fuck if she was screaming, you know, squealing like a fucking hog or some shit. I, you know, I was lost in that pussy. Good shit too, man. No joke. Because I don't discriminate when it comes to women if they're skinny or if they big. Big woman need loving too. You know what I'm saying? So I was hitting that shit. I was hitting that shit mongoose style. And when I was hitting it mongoose style for about 15, 20 minutes, you know what happened? I pulled out of her, took the condom off, threw it in the trash can, and jizzed all over that big fat ass. And she had one big fat beautiful ass on her. You know what I'm saying? The G-Man nailed that shit. I nailed that shit like a motherfucking damn race car driver on crack or some shit. Let me tell you something. If someone tells you big, you know, big woman ain't got no good pussy, take it from me. They do. If you haven't tried it, try it. Okay? This is your G-Man. Ready to rock and roll. Have a good, safe day, man. Yes! Yes! videos over no anyway if you like my videos please subscribe if you don't who cares have a nice day take care the g-man signing off have a good safe day